Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will provide you exclusive update about the latest developments of ferocious frontline battles taking place on Southern Front. And we'll also share leaked information about the war that no one knows so far. Press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's start. The final ultimatum to Russia has ended. According to sources, Ukraine and allies demanded Russia to withdraw its forces to pre-war boundaries and as a result, Ukraine army will not push beyond the international borders. But Putin refused and instead offered truce to Ukraine on current battlefield boundaries. The Western allies in Ukraine have rejected this truce and have now started planning a final armored push towards Mariupol and Melitopol to break the Russian army into two and surround 180,000 Russian soldiers to humiliate Putin and bring the end to the war. The Western Allies are planning to arm Ukraine with their latest deadly weapons. The United States, France and Germany have all announced new armored vehicles for the Ukrainian military. France has announced to deliver heavy main battle tanks as well as light reconnaissance tanks to Ukraine to assist in its final push towards Mariupol. France will supply Leclerc main battle tank and AMX-10 RC scout tank. The Leclerc is a third-generation French main battle tank developed and manufactured by Nexter Systems. It was named in honor of Marshal Philippe Leclerc de Hadoclock, a commander of three French forces who led the 2nd Armored Division in World War II. The Leclerc is armed with a modern and massive 120mm version F1 smoothbore turret designed by the Arsenal of Bourges. Its barrel is 52 calibers long instead of the 44 calibers common on most main battle tanks of its generation, giving the projectile a higher muzzle velocity. This gun features a magnesium alloy thermal sleeve and an automatic loading mechanism. The auto loader allows the reloading of the gun while firing on the move, providing it a sufficient rate of fire to deal with six targets in one minute. The nominal firing sequence is below 8 seconds and the repetition rate is below 6 seconds. The Leclerc is also equipped with a 12.7mm coaxial M2 heavy machine gun and a roof-mounted 7.62mm machine gun, whereas most other NATO tanks use 7.62mm weapons for both their coaxial and top machine gun mounts. But at first, France wants to deliver light battle tanks to Ukraine tank is described as an AMX-10 RC scout tank. The cannon-equipped wheeled tank is primarily used for surveillance. It was initially unclear how many tanks France intended to hand over to Ukraine. Ukraine has already received Soviet-designed main battle tanks from Eastern European countries as part of a so-called ring exchange. Slovakia handed over 30 Soviet BMP-1 infantry fighting vehicles to Ukraine at the end of November as part of a ring exchange agreement with Germany. In exchange, Germany will provide Slovakia with 15 Leopard 2A4 main battle tanks. Zelensky has repeatedly requested that the West provide Ukraine with main battle tanks. At first, the German government was reluctant to provide its main battle tanks to Ukraine, but now it has shown willingness to supply Leopard main battle tanks to Ukraine to end this war as economic miseries continue to grow. Germany would provide the weapons that the United States would also provide to the Ukrainian army. Infantry combat vehicle Germany's Martyr, 40 tanks in the first quarter. When will the Martyr tanks arrive? The federal government plans to deliver the first armored personal carriers to Ukraine during the first three months of this year. The ammunition for armored personal carriers will initially come from Bundeswehr stocks, according to a statement. As a result, it is readily available. Spare parts and repairs are provided in consultation with the industry. What do the martyrs bring with them? The martyr serves as an armored personal carrier, transporting soldiers to the front lines via a tailgate. It is armed with a 20mm cannon and a machine gun. How about the training? The Ukrainian troops will be trained on the martyr as soon as possible in Germany. Christian Molling, a military expert, estimates that the training will last about 30 days. What else does the Germany have to offer? In addition to the armored personal carriers, the federal government has announced the deployment of a Patriot anti-aircraft battery in Ukraine 
for air defense. Germany had previously offered to deploy several Patriot systems to Poland. But Warsaw preferred to move them to Ukraine. The federal government, however, rejected this. Germany also sent 20 rocket launchers on pickup trucks, two more armored recovery vehicles, eight reconnaissance drones, and numerous means of detecting and defending against drones a few days ago. More surveillance aircraft drones are on the way. The United States has delivered Bradley tanks, with the first appearing in Poland. How many tanks are there? According to the press release, the U.S. government intends to deliver approximately 50 Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. They are said to be part of a 3.8 billion arms deal for Ukraine. There has no official confirmation of the exact figure, though. When will the Bradleys arrive? There is currently no precise information available. According to reports, the first tanks have reportedly arrived in Wroclaw, Poland. A train carrying military vehicles, including American Bradleys, is shown. However, in the past it was common for weapons deliveries to be announced only after the weapons had arrived in Ukraine for security reasons. What options do the Bradleys have? According to the Colonel Marcus Reisner of the Austrian Armed Forces, the Bradley is comparable to the Martyr and has better sensors than Russian tanks. The commander of the Guard Battalion told the editorial network Germany that he could recognize the enemy earlier and fight them faster. Some Bradley variants included an anti-tank guided missile for long-range combat. The Bradley is unique in that it can transport soldiers and drop them off at their destination. How about the training? The United States wants to train the Ukrainian military at the Bradley. This could happen in Germany as well, as it has in the past at the U.S. base in Grafenweir, Bavaria, or Wiesbaden. What else does the U.S. provide? The U.S. intends to deliver radar-guided Sea Sparrow anti-aircraft missiles to Ukraine for the first time. They are designed to defend against ship attacks and block low-flying rockets and cruise missiles. The system can be used both on land and at sea. The Sea Sparrows are typically stationed on ships with only a few expectations, such as in Taiwan on land. However, Ukraine is expected to use the ground-based version. France's AMX-10RC, not a main battle tank, but a useful scout tank. How many AMX tanks are we talking about? So far, French President Emmanuel Macron has not provided a figure. The French army has 247 tanks out of 457 produced. However, it is unclear how many of these are currently operational. In any case, France began replacing the AMX-10 with the Jaguar tank. What are the tanks capable of? The AMX-10 is a fast tank destroyer or recon unit. According to Colonel Reisner, the AMX-10 from France has little or no armor unlike a main battle tank. As a result, the AMX-10 is a true main battle tank like the Leopard 2. According to Reisner, the French tank is mostly made of aluminum and thus very light, and it can reach very high speeds and distances with good engine performance. What else does France deliver? On December 20th, Macron announced additional armed deliveries, including ammunition for the first quarter of 2023. Ukraine, for example, wants to be given the Caesar Howitzer, which is mounted on a truck and is one of the most modern military systems. Ukraine is planning a massive counteroffensive in Crimea and Bakhmut region. Ukraine may be planning its next counteroffensive on Molotopol. This could indicate that Ukraine is preparing a major counteroffensive aimed at southern Ukraine and paving the way to the occupied Crimean Peninsula. Because Melitopol is essential to the defense of southern Ukraine, according to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's advisor, Alexei Aristovich, if Melitopol falls, the entire line of defense will collapse as far as Kherson. Ukrainian forces will be granted direct access to Crimea. This week, Ukrainian security officials visited Washington, D.C. to tell the Pentagon what their plans are. The Security Service of Ukraine has gathered information that pro-Russian forces plan to capture Ukrainian territory in the area of Bakhmut and northern Crimea, as well as the city of Kherson. However, it is also important to note that Ukraine is rapidly mobilizing its military. 
while the Ukrainians are deploying their armed forces, Russian troops are going through Crimea by train. What will happen next is unclear, but we have outlined the main points of this conflict.